filibuster. At John Lewis's funeral, President Barack Obama said he believed the filibuster was a relic of the Jim Crow era. Do you agree? Yes. If not, why not abolish it if it's a relic of the Jim Crow era? Successful electoral politics is the art of the possible. Let's figure out how we can get this done and move in the direction of significantly changing the abuse of even the filibuster rule first. It's been abused from the time it came into being by an extreme way in the last 20 years. Let's deal with the abuse first. It sounds like you're moving closer to eliminating the filibuster. Is that correct? I answered your question. You also just made some news by saying that you are going to run for re-election. I said that is my expectation. So is that a yes, that you are running for re-election? Look, I'm, I, I don't know where you guys come from, man. I've never been able to travel. I'm a great respecter of fate. I've never been able to plan four and a half, three and a half years ahead for certain. And if you, it, do, if you do run, will Vice President Harris be on your ticket? I would fully expect that to be the case. She's doing a great job. She's a great partner. She's a great partner. And do you believe you'll be running against former President Trump? Oh, come on. I don't even think about it. I don't have, I have no idea. I have no idea whether it'll be a Republican Party. Do you? I know you don't have to answer my question, but I mean, you know, do you? I mean, look, this is, the way I view things, I become a great respecter of fate in my life. I set a goal of this that's in front of me to get things done for the people I care most about which are hard-working, decent American people are getting really — having it stuck to them. I want to change the paradigm. I want to change the paradigm. We start to reward work, not just wealth. I want to change the paradigm. If you notice, didn't you find it kind of interesting that my Republican friends were worried about that the, the cost and the taxes that had to be had, if there is any tax to be had, as they talk about it, in dealing with the the act that we just passed which puts money in people's pockets ordinary people to hear them complain when they passed close to two trillion dollar trump tax cut 83 percent going to the top one percent do you hear them talk about that at all i love the fact that they found this whole idea of concern about the federal budget it's kind of amazing when the federal budget is saving people's lives, they don't think it's such a good idea. When the federal budget is feathering the nest of the wealthiest Americans, 90 of the Fortune 500 companies making billions of dollars, not paying a cent in taxes, reducing taxes to the point that people who are making, you know, if you're a husband and wife, school teacher, and a cop, you're paying at a higher rate than the average person making a billion dollars a year is. Something's wrong. Their newfound concern. I'm concerned. Look, I meant what I said when I ran, and a lot of you still think I'm wrong, and I respect that. I said I'm running for three reasons. To restore the soul, dignity, honor, honesty, transparency to the American political system. Two to rebuild the backbone of this country, the middle class, hardworking people and people struggling to get in the middle class. They built America, and unions built them. The third reason I said I was running was to unite the country. And generically speaking, all of you said, no, you can't do that. Well, I've not been able to unite the Congress, but I've been uniting the country based on the polling data. We have to come together. We have to. So from my perspective, you know, it's, uh, to me, it, it's, it's about just, you know, getting out there, putting one foot in front of the other, and just trying to make things better for people. Just hard-working people. People get up every morning and just want to figure out how to put food on the table for their kids, be able to have a little bit of breathing room being able to have — make sure that they go to bed, not staring at the ceiling like my dad did, wondering whether — since he didn't have health insurance, what happens if mom gets sick or he got sick? These are basic things. Basic things. And I'm of the view that the vast majority of people 
including registered Republicans by and large, share that, 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 same, that same view, that same sense of what is, uh, you know, what's appropriate.